This week, we hop over to the dark side with Darth Vader and Kylo Ren to make this galaxy drip cake. Here I have an 8 inch round already covered in white, all previous steps for this one are linked below. It wasn't very warm when covering, but my smoothers just fused themselves as I was trying to smooth out the sides and top edge. I've left it in just to show that it still happens to us all, no matter how much experience you have. Now you can cover your cakes in black paste if you like, but I prefer to airbrush. It's a little bit more fuss free and the colouring is only on the very outer edge of the paste and it's still white on the inside. I had the 8 inch and the board done in 3 minutes 32 seconds. Now do the same to a 4 inch cake. This took only 1 minute 7 seconds. This is a new one to me, it's a brand called Fractal Colours and it's a water based purple. So far so good, I'm going to get some more colours to play with. The bottles are only a tad smaller than the chroma colours, but there's a larger range of colour shades. On a 6 inch round cake, I'm going in with chroma pink, airbrushing blobs and patches of strong colour. Next up is the Fractal Colours Eggplant, just add more patches around the pink. Back to chroma colour again, in teal. As this is water based, you can blend the colours. If I spray teal over the pink, it blends to a cool royal blue colour. And back to fractal colours again in indigo blue. Just blend around all the patches to merge them. Now it wouldn't be Star Wars without any stars. Tip some white dust into a bowl. This is rainbow dust snowdrift. Add a little water and dip in your cake decorating toothbrush. Flick the brush with your finger to splatter varying dots all over. Just be careful of those big ones. Luckily they are on the top so it doesn't matter. Next grab yourself some chocolate. I have bars, Mikado sticks for lightsabers and pretzels for a bit of shape and interest. Lay them out onto some greaseproof paper the right way up. With your bars of chocolate you can create easy shards as most will have a plain smooth back. Chop diagonally across to make pointed pieces and then vary the angle for different sizes and shapes. Grab some PME Lustre Spray in black. You can either dust them, paint them or airbrush with an ethanol based airbrush colour but I find these sprays handy and super quick. Just give it a shake and cover all the shards and the pretzels. For the dark side we need red lightsabers and luckily PME also do a red luster spray. Pop them to one side to dry. For the drips I'm using a squeezy bottle and my regular ganache recipe of two parts dark chocolate to one part cream. I have videos on how to make it linked below. In the bottle I've scooped some spoonfuls in as it's already set in the bowl. Pop this into the microwave for a few seconds until you can see and hear that it's melted into liquid. Holding it close to the edge, squeeze the bottle gently to release a drip. The longer the squeeze, the longer the drip. Vary the squeezes as you move around the edge for long and short ones. Add some excess to the edge and join them all with a swipe of a knife. Add a few to the 4 inch and let them set. I left mine overnight. Once dry, give them a blast with the PME spray. You can of course colour the ganache black too if you prefer to do it that way. Dowel the cake ready to hold the 6 inch. I'm using 6 around the edge and 1 in the middle. To glue them, you can use melted chocolate, ganache or royal icing. Place on your galaxy tier and centre it before it sticks. Dowel that one up too with four around the edge and one in the centre for your four inch cake. So you've got a four inch cake with your drips placed to the left, your six inch galaxy tier and your bottom eight inch tier. As the Death Star is just a topper, we are going to cover a polystyrene ball in white paste. Just dampen it, lay your paste over and smooth out the pleats as far down as you can get them. 
When you get to the bottom, squeeze the rest together and slowly tease it out thinner and thinner. You'll also have to excuse the nails and hands from here on in. All that spray and airbrush colour stains them. Despite washing my hands at least 30 times a day, they look dreadful, but they're always super clean. Insert a kebab stick down the centre of the ball and pop any air bubbles with an acupuncture needle. Make a homemade smoother with a ball of paste by squashing three fingers into it. Add a second stick to stop it from spinning in the cake. Once smoothed out, score a line around the centre with the Dresden tool. With the end of a rolling pin or a large ball tool, press in above the line. Gently airbrush the whole thing with black. Doing it gently will make it grey. For a deeper, finer line, such as the middle, hold the nozzle of the gun closer. For all its details, I'm painting blocks on with a fine paintbrush and some watered down airbrush colour. They are always the same depth, but have different widths. After what feels like forever, we can add some lights. This is done with a very teeny tiny ball tool and some pearl paint by Rainbow Dust. Dip the ball tool into the paint and dot patterns all over the Death Star. Lower it down the centre of the 4 inch and add a grey blob to the indentation. Kylo Ren's body is made with black modelling paste. It starts as a sausage with the bottom flattened out. Add this to the right of the cake on top of the galaxy tier and secure it with a kebab stick. Squeeze a triangle shape from black paste and stick it to the front for a shoe peeking out. Now feel free to ignore this bit as I do change it later but I'm adding a thin piece to the front and cutting it off at the waist. Line the waist with a thin black strip. Cover a cocktail stick in red paste for a lightsaber. I just roll a sausage and press the damp stick into it, rolling it across the worktop with a little pressure until it's all secured and smoothed out. Push this in diagonally into the body using pliers to help. Roll a small sausage for an arm, flatten one end out and roll beneath it to make a wrist. Attach this to the shoulder and fold the hand around the lightsaber. Same for the other arm. Press in lines on both arms with the Dresden tool. As I scored a line up the chest for where I wanted the centre to be, I realised the piece I placed on earlier was off. So I trimmed it down and placed in another piece, draping it over the shoe peeking out. For the folds of the cloak and hood, add a sausage of paste at the front and mark in some lines. Kylo has a fancy lightsaber, so add on two red spikes coming from the base, followed by a ball of grey and another at the base of the hands for the handle. His head is also a modelling paste, just kept as a simple ball, and the mask painted on with rainbow dust metallic silver paint. It's not the best paint for the job for going on smooth black, so try a dust with lemon extract instead. Just use a picture for reference to leave stripes where they're needed. Lastly, cut out a black rectangle shape that slopes outwards for the bottom of the mask. Push this down onto the remaining stick to secure it. Cut a circle from black and place this at the back of the head, folding the floppy bits down into an oversized hood. It might not fit against the left side where the cake is, but we can add in a small piece separately. For the back, cut out a cape shape and attach with a little water. Now onto his grandfather, if my limited Star Wars knowledge serves me right. Bend a sausage in half and squeeze the top to square it out. Trim the legs down. We're going for cute cartoony styles, so I'm keeping them quite short. Chop a ball of paste in half for shoes and press the legs onto them. 
marking an arrow shape on the fronts of the legs near the knees. To make him stand, push cocktail sticks down each leg for support. The body is a soft square of paste pushed down onto the remaining stick. Add a cape to the back before sticking him into position on the board to the left. Push part of the stick down into the torso to support the head and add arms in the same way as Kylo. Pop on a belt and a square piece on his chest indented with a Dresden tool. For his shoulder piece, I've cut this wave shape. It's a little too big, but we can chop it down. Also add detail here with some lines. Vader's head starts similar to his torso, but you want to mark out two lines for between the eyes, out at either side for the sharp cheekbone shapes, and then down. Push a piece of paste into a soft triangle and place it at the bottom. Mark in the eyes as they are also black. Finally, a different colour. Add grey balls to each corner. Where the helmet sticks out, you'll want a strip of black with tapered ends. Stick this all around the back with water and trim to size at the front. Line the front, almost like angry eyebrows, using a strip of black. Trace your chosen name onto greaseproof paper. Don't you just love people with short names? Roll out some yellow paste, place the name on top and score around the letters with a Dresden tool. All you have to do then is follow the impression with a scalpel to cut them out. Line it up nice and straight. The grid on my mat comes in handy for that. Then spread some Trex or Crisco onto a strip of greaseproof paper. Place its sticky side down onto the letters and gently press them. Carefully flip the paper over with your letters intact and wet the backs with water. Hold it up to your cake where you want it and press the letters against it. Peel away the paper to reveal a straight and central name. To colour these, I'm using Faye's range of edible dusts. This one is called Regency Gold. Pop this into a bowl and add a few drops of lemon extract to form a paint. To stick on your chocolate goodies, I'm just using melted dark chocolate. Dip the shards in and then press them firmly into the sugar paste. Arrange everything how you wish and then to cover the dark chocolate and any gaps we are using more texture with black sugar crystals. Use a little piping gel on any dry areas to make them stick. To add more pops of red, either use red sprinkles or balls of paste. Finally, use the toothbrush in the gold paint to add speckles. Here you can see I added a handle to one of the Mikado chocolate sticks for a full lightsaber on the top. And we're done. Dripping with dark textures and decadent dark chocolates, it could even turn Yoda to the dark side. After all, we have pretzels. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please let me know below and join us over on Instagram at CherryCakeCo and tag your creations using hashtag CherryBrigade to be featured. Thanks guys, see you next week.